Hi, dosto, once again, welcome back to the channel. This video is regarding linking your Covin against it, your passport. Okay, so we had already pushed a video for this, but in this example or in this video, I am going to show you a live example where a person with short name will first give a request for elaborating his name to the complete name and it is an instant process i don't need to wait it i will show you how this is working instantly and after that once the short name is uh, changed to a complete name we are going to link it with passport that is also instantly approved i will show you how that can be done online one more point to be noted this point uh, this person had used this uh, pan card as an id type in Covin. okay you might have used the Aadhaar but in my example I am showing a person who has used pan card okay let us quickly start and see what are the things you have to take care online so this is the URL covin.gov.in I will give this link in my video description you can copy paste and once you are in this page just click on register sign in yourself button after that just enter your mobile number which is registered with Covin portal once you enter the mobile number click on get otp button this is the common procedure you don't need to give any username and password here this is otp based mechanism so you got an otp on your mobile registered with covin after that enter the otp once you enter the otp click on verify and proceed button okay this is the common method most of you have already done it many times so once you click on verify and proceed you can see the dashboard here so let us take this person name was Priscilla space V space K so in this name as you can see here this person had submitted pan card okay clearly it is given photo ID was given pan card but what is the problem here the name is not in a short form V and K are not in a complete or full name so I am going to give a request for making this V and K to be complete names so Priscilla and V should be complete and K also should be complete you can see here first short name we are going to expand to full name so for that what you can do is you have to raise a request online click under raise an issue option here and select certificate correction remember friends you have to do this first before doing your add passport details because if your uh, short name uh, Covin portal has your short name and your passport obviously it will have a full name uh, then there is a problem but do not worry about surname and full name uh, orders okay first surname comes first full name comes uh, first name comes don't worry about that but make sure your your name is in the full forms that's what you are going to do here that's why I am going to click on certificate modification option and first you select the member if you have multiple members all the members will be shown select the member who names uh, correction in certificate so as you can see here this member has short name now Priscilla is there but V and K are short forms so click on the correction in certificate option click on continue here remember friends this is only one time process you can't change it again please remember that so make sure, sure you are uh, giving the correct name so I select the name field here because I am going to change the name and as you can see here I am going to give the complete name of this person okay I'm masking it complete name but you can see here Pujilla then V also expanded K also expanded only name is selected and click on continue uh, there is a declaration because remember you can't change it again this is only one time process make sure spellings are correct do not worry about capital letter small letter better you give like this uh, whatever I have given so as you can see here when you submit you get a message like this your request has been submitted successfully and I got an instant SMS also I don't need to wait for this you can see here it clearly says your digital certificate has been updated successfully and this example as I told this person had submitted pan card okay but his name was not in a full form it was short form now safe as I just log out and login it might work without logging out but uh, I would suggest you uh, better use log out and login once and you, you can see here once I logged it and logging in I get the complete name here previously it was short form see here Prigilla V also expanded K also expanded so complete name has come instantly I don't need to wait for this it was quick and instant I had uh, done it online now I'm going to link this person against passport so uh, before that just click on track request button okay 
because you can see here if you are not getting an SMS you can see whether it is your certificate correction was accepted or rejected see in my case it was accepted successfully now when you are here you can see here this person has uh, first name one two three Prajla then V is expanded K is expanded okay this is how it is in uh, Covin portal remember this PVK let us remember in this order PVK is the order in uh, Covin portal so what about passport passport usually will be showing like this okay because uh, surname will come first and then the other name so in passport the order is different right you can see here V, v is their first K is their next and P is next that means in passport it is VKP order right that's what okay so it is different in as you can see it is different order in a passport as well as in COVID in passport it is in VKP order where V comes first K comes next P comes next but in COVID it is different so do not worry about that let us go and link to passport now I am going to click on recent issue option and click on add passport details and after that uh, select the person obviously two persons were there I am selecting the option here Pujila uh, option here this second name it is you can see here already uh, the op name is in this order right P and V and K it's not as per passport the order is different many people are uh, asking this question and I had got a lot of queries regarding this but it will work I will show you now real time so Covin order is different and in passport it is different order uh, you have to enter your passport of this person okay number enter the passport number and select I declare declaration here remember you can't change it again friends okay make sure all the details are right and after you have entered these things click on submit request button and you can see here your request for change ID number is under process I got a message and I got an SMS also instantly you can see here I got an SMS and a message uh, on request you can see here when I go to SMS it clearly sees that your vaccination certificate has been submitted okay has been submitted successfully on so and so date and I got another SMS instantly saying that uh, vaccination digital certificate has been updated successfully so you don't need to wait I got it instantly okay I'm showing you instantly I, I, I have not uh, waited for any time so instant message has come here now let us go back to see Covin portal what happens here okay I'm back to Covin portal now I click on track request because I wanted to see what happened to my uh, passport linking and as you can see here a full name is there and update uh, ID to passport it says clearly done update ID to passport I was raised a request and it says you can download your certificate now your uh, name and uh, it's linked with passport so as you can see here I'm just downloading the certificate let us see what happens okay I click on certificate option here but I'm not seeing anything related to passport here so it's clear no passport details are added in the certificate okay this is a problem and I log out once more and log in again to make sure uh, there is I uh, mean after uh, re-logging in whether it works or not uh, at least my certificate uh, mentions anything relating the passport or not I'm going to verify once more okay because many people had faced this problem also remember this person has taken only first dose of vaccination okay so this might be one reason it is not getting updated so I am again downloading the you can see here post, uh, photo ID is clearly updated as passport okay that means your request is approved okay clearly it says photo ID is passport previously it was pan card so that means uh, your request was approved and taken care now just download again do not click on the certificate click on the download button again and open it and see whether there is some change so as you can see on the screen there is no change nothing is added as passport details here okay so one thing I wanted to say you is do not worry about this because this person has taken only DOS 1 and this is a provisional certificate so as you can see on the page it was already updated in the Covin portal 
so as you can see photo id was changed from pan to passport so you don't need to worry about it when you go for the second dose obviously the final certificate comes with your passport details and if you really wanted the first certificate also with passport details i think you might need to contact customer care send a mail or call them and say well, i wanted to add it in first certificate it's because as of now this person do not need to worry because photo id was changed to passport previously it was pan card so let us wait and see after a second dose what happens to the certificate whether it is added with passport details or not okay so thank you so much for watching i think many of you would have benefited this live example video you don't need to wait for anything it's an instant process that's what happened in my case Uh, if you like the video kindly give us a like also please share with your friends who is looking for the same thing and also please subscribe to our channel thank you so much see you with another informative video